Almighty God, we give you all the honor and all the praise. Let your glory fill this place, O oh God. Jesus, we thank you once again for being in our midst and for giving us the opportunity to share and to learn and to be edified. Let thy will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless the Lord, everybody. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the gift of discernment. With all the spiritual warfare that we face right now, it is important that we learn about this gift. It is important that we seek this gift. You know, many people and many churches are experiencing intense spiritual warfare, either through this deception or, you know, the church is not growing or they're facing difficulty in the neighborhood that they are people are not attending the saints are feeling dejected feeling lost losing their touch with god i'd like to talk to you about spiritual discernment and this gift and let you know what it is and what the bible says about it the spiritual gift of discernment is also known as the gift of discerning spirits and or distinguishing between spirits. There is a Greek word diakrisis, if I pronounce that correctly. Now, the word describes, you know, being able to distinguish and discern and judge or appraise a person, right? But the, in the New Testament, really, it talks about the ability to distinguish between spirits as in you know first corinthians twelve ten, where it talks about discerning between good and evil and it also mentions this in hebrews five fourteen. now this gift comes from the holy spirit and he gives us the gift of discernment to enable christians to clearly recognize and distinguish between the influence of god the influence of Satan, the influence of the world, and, you know, what it is that our flesh is doing in a particular situation. The church needs this gift so that we'll be able to warn believers in times of danger and to keep them from being led astray, right? And also to protect them from false teaching. And a lot of that is happening in the church right now, false teaching, because people don't know the Bible. People distrust the Bible. And also there is a lot of videos on YouTube, people giving out their own, you know, interpretation and evidence and, and, and witches too, even playing at as if they are Christians and denouncing the Bible and denouncing what the, 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 the Bible says. And people have a lot of access to the things that are going on on YouTube and we need to be very careful, right? We need to teach Christians the word of God and send them to the Bible, right? But not only that, we need to counsel them and explain and talk to them so that they understand. Now, you can read other scriptures like first corinthians twelve ten, you can read acts 5 3 to 6 you can read acts 16 16 to 18 and john 4 1. now how do you identify the gift of discernment a lot of people come in church sometimes and you probably see somebody being hmm you know some old lady come up to you and say boy you know and i think you're living right you know and you know, sometimes we take that as a personal attack, but sometimes it's not because we know we're not too 100, right? It's just that they have a gift of discernment. It might not be full where they can tell you exactly what you're doing, but they have a sense of the thing. Now, the first thing to do is to desire the gift. As with other spiritual gifts, you need to desire this gift to be able to distinguish between the move of god whether it is satan or whether it is your flesh acting up and this is mentioned in first corinthians 14 1. now this desire must come out of the fact that you desire to see people free 
from demonic bondage. You may want to be more effective in your prayer life and spiritual warfare. Or you want to live a more holy life unto God. Right? You yourself. It, nothing is wrong in making sure that you are first taken care of. Because if you ain't right and you try to go out there saving people and you're not right, then the devil will tear you down. And he'll bring a lot of problems on you. And because you don't have that relationship with God, the spirituality, you're not 100, you can fall when you go out there. Just look at it as a battlefield. So this is one of the weapons, right, in spiritual warfare, the gift of discerning. So you should want to see people be saved, see yourself be saved, and show you have a more holy life. And that, you know, you're curious about the spiritual realm. Many people think that, oh, it's just the physical, right? But there are spiritual things we are physical and spiritual when we die we move on to the spiritual realm in the full right so we need to understand what is going on how to live the life to move on to that aspect of our being come judgment time god is either going to send us to hell or heaven so we got to learn about that side and you know we must also love the presence of god being in the presence of God, you cannot help. It's like when Chris, Christmas time comes, right? You're going to be seeing a lot of people going shopping. You're going to see a lot of people baking and drinking sorrel and all of these things. And if you go to people's house, that is what you get. You get this gift, right? It is the same with being in the presence of God, whereby you get the benefits of being in his presence, of showing up, of inviting him to your house. He's not like some of the people who just come to your house and don't bring nothing, they just eat. When God comes to you, he brings good things. He brings blessings, right? And one of that is the gift of discernment if you want it, right? Because God comes with a lot of gifts and he also gives us a lot of gifts and sometimes we don't take it right sometimes you see people who have the gift of discernment and you think that they're mad a lot of people who have the gift of discernment right people think that oh you're not understanding you're just seeing things you're crazy right in my life i have the gift of discernment i've had it for a long time right i've been saved since a child and i'd either sense things and sometimes you know me myself saying hmm you know i'm not so sure but later on, I learn exactly what it is that I'm discerning the spirits. I'm either feeling the presence of God or I'm sensing the enemy at work. Now, one of the benefits of having the gift of, this, of the spirits is a heightened awareness, of, awareness rather, of God's presence. I'll speak to this specifically. I've been in church and see church kicking off. People kicking down the whole place, running up and down, and I'm sitting there and I'm saying, no, Lord, this is not you. And I've learned over the years that this can actually be so, right? The devil can have a church turn upside down, thinking that that's the presence of God, having the music and the drums going and, you know, people acting fleshly right the drums are powerful instruments we of our african descent know this when that drum keeps going you ever go night night and hear that drum and just see a foot just tapping and it's not you tapping it right music have a way of in infecting our our body our spirit and getting us to to just move to the beat right and even many of our preachers do this, where they do this, these excitable movements and speeches, right? And then people get caught up and think that that's the presence of God. It's not. It's of the flesh. So we ought to know the difference whether it is God or whether something is of the flesh. And it is very important to know this. A true discerner will have a passion for the ungrieved presence of the Holy Spirit. This is because, and I will continually reiterate this, the highest use of the gift of discernment is not to see what the enemy is doing, but it is to discern what the Spirit of God is doing. Another thing about the gift of discernment or wanting it is that we want a sensitivity to the spiritual atmosphere. 
right and that is that is pri uh one of the primary reasons why i mostly tap into my gift of discernment because and again i go back to church i don't like going into a church and not knowing what it is about and really and honestly it is only in the latter part of my christian life that god has sent me to different churches because i don't want to go into a church and it is not of god that the people there are playing church or it is that the spirits that are primarily in operation are not of god and this does happen right so that is one of the reasons, even if you're sitting down and listening to a sermon, I have sat down many times and have pastors come in front of me and I'm asking God, you know, discerning and I'm like, what is this? Who is this person? You know, are they on the up, up and up? Are they being led by you, oh God, what it is? And, and he let me know. He let me know, right? Either it is that the knowing, I'll have a knowing, right or i'll sense something is off or you know certain things are start to come into my spirit and i'm talking to god at the same time and i've shared this with people i said when preachers come they are pouring out in you so you need to discern what is going on with them whether it is that they're up there play acting right or it is that they are truly tapping into the presence of god because we have to be careful of who we eat from when you go to a preacher, he is preparing a table before you. So you have to make sure that that table is, is, is a table which was prepared with food from God and not from the enemy. Have you ever thought that you're just different from somebody? You feel different or know that you're different and you don't understand it? This is true for people who have the gift of discernment. Most people, even in church life, experience life through their natural senses. However, someone with an emerging gift of discernment of spirits can see and sense things that others do not see. This ability can result in us feeling different, lonely, or misunderstood at times, especially when starting out. It is vital that you know someone with a developing gift of discernment finds a safe place they need to have a safe place because people are going to ridicule them and that can shut down the gift if they feel ridiculed or that they have you know they might suffer from low self-esteem right and probably think that they're crazy so they need a safe place and safe people around them who will guide them in this gift there is often unusual signs in, 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 in these people's life. It is not uncommon for someone who is gifted in discernment to experience unusual events or manifestations. I can speak to that. I have tons of stories about that. And, you know, I'm just sharing that now. My, those who are close to me and close to me spiritually know because I share these experiences of the things I've seen and the things I've experienced that, you know, would probably make a grown man piss himself, right? But, and I have had to hold on to God. And many of these things as a child, as a teenager growing up, and I've just had to hold on unto God and I now fully understand what that is all about. So people who are, you know, incubating the gift of discernment begin to see and feel things that others are not aware of, right? They may include unusual visions, dreams, sensations that alert them to what is happening in the spiritual realm. You know, I was driving the other day with my uncle and you know i there was a car in front of us that had some stuff in the back of it you know some board and all of that and i just felt uneasy and i was looking over i just heard that all right move go over into the next lane and I, as i look over to the next lane to tell him to move right a piece of the board flew out of the vehicle and I wish I had reacted earlier, but, you know, God was there and nothing happened to us. He, he breaked up at, at, at a good time so that nothing happened to us. But things like that happening, 
you ever had you ever just pick up the phone and the phone is in your hand and it just rings that happens to me a lot of times numerous all my life that has happened where I just pick up the phone at times and the phone rings in my hand or somebody would come to mind I'll think about somebody that I don't necessarily interact with on a day-to-day -day and something happens either it is that the next day they contact me or something happens to them on that day things like that right and you need to, as I'm speaking, just check yourself if you are the type of person that this is happening. And then check with God if this is not the gift of discernment acting up in your life. Um, you know, as it, as, it, as it relates to before you're saved, childhood or pre-salvation signs, things that I've been talking about before, it is not uncommon to experience things relating to the gift before becoming a Christian. Right, because once God gives you a gift, he gives you before you start life and you have it, right? It's not as if, you know, it's it, it's not there before. Some persons, yes, they get the gift um, after they receive the Holy Spirit. But a lot of persons are born with the gift. Our creator God prepares us for our calling and our gifts from conception. Even when a talent or a gift is misused, God can redeem it. For example, you know about Obia man and Obia woman and all of these things. They have the gift of discerning. Many of them started out in church, right? Many of them had these gifts in church. And then the devil used the gift to lead them astray. So you have to, you see where now we go back and say that you have to be seeking after the presence of God. You have to go into the presence of God because if you don't, the devil can lead you astray and you need to be very careful about this, right? Always seek God because if the devil gets a hold of your gift, it is a serious, serious thing. You can arm others, don't use your gift for for money, right, for personal gain, it should be to benefit the kingdom of God and for winning souls unto God. So as I said, God can redeem you um, if you've misused your gift. You know, there are Christians who have a gift of discernment who are drawn to like these new age counterfeit gifts prior to becoming a Christian. So be very careful and draw closer to God. Now, another way that you know the, the the gift of discernment can be in operation is the ability to know what lies behind a person's words or actions for me i do this a lot it is it doesn't only come from the fact that you know i have studied psychology and all of that before i studied psychology I've always been able to sense whether people, you know, their words, whether they were true or, you know, how a person felt. And it still happens up until this day whereby I can, you know, often tell whether a person is genuine, uh, whether they're being real, whether they mean me arm. You know, a lot of the time God tells me, I remember recently that he was talking to me about this as well as it relates to you know a co-worker of mine and i just found that god was saying to me he is not a friend he's not a friend he's not a friend right and of course it, it it turned out to be that and it's not that i treated the person you know or took them as a friend but i was being friendly but god was warning me to stay on my guard and all i did was just pray I just spray. I didn't do anything, you know, I try not to be malicious. It's work. So, you know, I allow for it to, 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 to be able to be professional in that environment. And he has allowed, you know, that gift to work in me many times for me to know that what's behind a person's words or actions, right? So you may know whether they are telling the truth or not right if they're being genuine you may also recognize if someone is manifesting a demonic spirit where and 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 it can also be like a demonic influence but you can know whether you're dealing with a person 
or you're dealing with a demonic spirit when you have the gift of 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 discerning and you're also able to identify what that spirit is if a prophetic or revelationary Tory message is brought a discerner can often tell whether it is an un from an anointed spirit or from the speaker's own heart and this is one of the things especially if you have the gift you know the prophetic gift that you have to be very careful of and why God works with prophets so long his prophets and true prophets to ensure that they know his voice and ensure that they don't go about giving a message from their heart or out of right out of their own you know spirit something that they desire to see and they feel right it has to be a spirit of god else you can harm people and this is not always the case though as with other revelatory gifts such as prophecy you'll sometimes get it wrong right sometimes that's just it you you, you get it wrong and you know you can check the bible check the bible and check everything that i'm i'm telling you um you can check first thessalonians 5 uh 19 to 21 or you can check like first corinthians 13 9 to 10. otherwise you know for those who are operating in the the, the gift of discerning um your leaders can can confirm this gifting in you and they can let you know you know some people, somebody might come to your church and prophesy to you. If you have a prophet in your church, they might prophesy to you that, hey, you have the gift of discerning or, you know, they, they call that gift out of you. Uh, however, the bottom line of the presence of any gift is that it is recognized and acknowledged by your, your leaders, right? And that you, you use your gift for the benefit of the church, now understand on the other side and you know i tell you personally this gift is a formidable gift if you're gonna be a spiritual warrior you have to understand it is a formidable tool weapon when you go into spiritual warfare but you know if you have a sensitive heart and so forth it can be something else so protect your heart and protect your spirit and allow God to guide you. I pray that, you know, the information that I've shared with you or that God has allowed me to share with you about the gift of discerning, that it helps you. I pray that if you have the gift of discerning, that you use it for the benefit of the kingdom and you don't use it for per se personal gain. So continue to grow continue to rely on god and may the holy spirit be with you in jesus name god bless you